mass media, and it, it's, it's like pushing inward. So what do we do? We select parts of it. We forget. We throw away. We can't contain everything. So how do you create an image, or how do you create a voice out of that? Well, you open up your arms and embrace it all. <laughs> you take it free as it comes to you. And that's something else uh, in music. Uh, I don't, I can't remember, I'm probably tone deaf, but I, I don't remember what anything is. It's like, um, I hear music when it hears me, because it's receptivity. I mean, in, in total idolatry of receptivity, only by receiving can you take in, work over, and then filter and put it back out in some form. Uh, I've always loved people like Cezanne, uh, Titian. I've always loved the classical artist. I didn't get too much myself out of the 20th century. It was like I was, I was put in an age that I don't belong, although I do know I'm nouveau, and, and I'm some of the latest thing in the humanistic way of, I would call it fragmentation type of philosophy or a state of trying to, from the inside, reach outward and find out. All the stories they tell you in college, and I, and I don't want to do too much of a downer on education, but all of the, the world information from, uh, I would say, the presidency, the, the Constitution of the United States, that they work down, they censor you. They control you. And we all know this, but how do you, as an artist, find out what you really care about? Well, you, first of all, you've got to be a fool. You've you got to uh, be an open fool. And you've got to truly open up your eyes and look and see what maybe attracts you. When I go out in the street to paint, uh, in responding to, uh, what, a stoplight, a red, uh, red uh, a green light, a taxi, a black, a Puerto Rican, a whitey, you respond through color. You don't see people per se, category. They aren't, it isn't a racial issue. It's an issue of a darker, a darker movement. It's, it's a slower, it's faster. And I keep telling, even, even when I teach at the Art Students League, I say, well, now look, you don't paint things categorically. This is a still life. Uh, this is, um, this is um, a model. This is a nude. You look at it, and it's pink. It's purple. And who ever heard of pink tires other than Fra Angelico? And uh, it's like, res it's, it's also emotion, an emotional issue. Uh, if you don't have, uh, when I came through supposed college, I rejected Sartre, Camus, and the existentialist. And I didn't like where Jung took the, the collective. I didn't like the deactivizing of imagery and distortion of Freud because I saw it cutting out the artist. I said, if they're going to take it all the way to the collective, eventually with the computer coming, they're going to be able to guide people, control people, put shades on people, and no one will see. And in a sense, maybe that's what makes an artist, is that they actually cannot shut out the vibes of the impressions that come across the human eye. And then where does it go? It goes to the brain, it goes to the gut, it goes to the, uh, the kidneys, the spleen, whatever you know makes you feel, or it goes to the heart. This is uh, called uh, Racy Tracy, and this is an attempt. This gal uh, sings opera and, uh, and uh, has a tremendous sense of volume. I mean, you know, really has really um, powerful vocal cords. But the attempt at this piece was to show that woman not only is the city, but woman is many streets, and to get the color and rhythms of what I felt was of New York City. Uh, the beauty of her is her response. She's a, she's a Sag uh, number three, numerology, but she, she's expansive. She's free and open. And her look, and when I painted her, it was like the look on her face was like the look I feel is in my eyes, which is total receptivity or an attempt to feed off of like a piranha every little intense nuance of uh, color. As you work slowly day by day, and as the city gets into you, when I go to the street, I go, and I went to the street, incidentally, uh, originally, uh, as early here in New York as 1959, coming from Oklahoma, getting here, being assaulted by the images, the freedom, the response, the, the step up of energy. It's like, uh, what, a soccer game, a football field. But the energy of color, the energy of movement. I mean, in New York City, more than any other place in the world, and this is in, check, check me out if I'm not, I mean, you know, give me an F plus if I'm wrong. But the fact that in New York City, when I first came here, I could not understand how that within, let's say, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, 
an hour and a half, you could have a mainstream of images go through the brain as symbols further than any place that I'd ever been in the world. And I've been in Europe and around Holland and, and so forth. Why is Germany. That? I don't know why. I, th I tell you what, well, one reason is that it's connected with Gemini, uh, the I, Mercury, ideas. But, but the sense that, why is that? Because, maybe because we're to the extreme point of the idea of the melting pot. The melting pot, meaning many heterogeneous mixtures of, of people from different countries, have evoluted here, and so there are different psychological makeups. There's different. Uh, uh, my work, back, back to the energy, I, I like that idea. Uh, the street, when I first came here, I was very delicate, sensitive. The street, the honking horns, the, the, the taxis, the buses, the air horns of the trucks, the movements, I could say the knives, I could say the needles. One gets nervous out there, conversation, people like something, they don't like something, but things pass through the mind stream faster. And they pass in ways that sometimes aren't spoken. They pass through glances. There's a language out here. The street has now become the new jungle. It's like the artificing of nature, man-made street or signs or buses. Even the trees here uh, are our only freedom. Incidentally, I hope they do plant in the future more trees in this city. It'll make a better wind current and, and wind passages through the city, and it'll cool it down. Seriously, you know, you know that idea in evolution. But the street is not only the jungle. Uh, a good example is some of my earlier work was very genteelly poetic. Here, here is a piece. Here is a piece that is almost what one could call maybe impressionistic. That's an earlier delicate piece. Here's a later piece here, and I don't know when and if you can get to it, but here is a piece where the human being finally arrives at which 